All right, guys. I hate to admit it, but I crashed my spark. I broke it. What exactly happened? I flew it out at night with no GPS. It was just too dark. I flew it out with a phone, no remote, out of a balcony, and it just didn't stabilize. Drifted into a building, fell about three stories, and here's a carnage. arms that's broken. The motor seems to turn correctly, but the hat that holds props looks like it has a slight crack in it and some scratches. The lens on the gimbal has a slight ding on it, but really just on the plastic. The body seems to be seated a little awkwardly here. This motor doesn't turn as smoothly as the other ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out how bad this damage actually is. I took this drone to the DJI store in Manhattan. It's been there for about a month. They haven't been able to get me an estimate because they haven't been able to get parts. So we really don't know how much this is going to cost to fix. I'm going to take a stab at it myself, or at least uh, see what the damage is and see what I can do about it. First thing we'll do is uh, pop a battery on it. Let's load up the DJI app. That's promising. The lights are on, the unit is turned on correctly, we are connected to it. Uh, it wants me to update it. Let's do a damage assessment before we update the firmware. Let's take a look at the gimbal. That's the important thing, right? I see video, and take a look at that. The gimbal is actually stabilizing perfectly. Let's take a look at what the uh, sensors say here. IMU calibration looks alright, gyroscope looks alright, compass looks alright, so it can't be that bad. Alright, let me try to support the motor, Maybe just like that. Let's see if they spin. Huh. All the motors actually spin. Try that one more time. That's actually really, really good. That's better than I thought. I thought the, one of the motors wouldn't even spin. I'm actually going to take that motor out and see what it takes to actually take apart a motor. Also, once that's done, I'm going to try to repair the body and I'm going to use this product here. Plastic bonding system from Loctite. Seems like it might do the job. I don't know. If we look here, there are two screws here and here that hold this propeller connector, I guess. The thing that connects the props to the motor. And then there's a spring. So let's take these out first. And now the hat is free and the spring fell out. So what I'm gonna do is just put these aside here so I don't lose them. Now we have the motor exposed. Flipping the drone over, is that gonna focus? There we go, we have that plastic cap. Here we go, look, here it looks like a spot. There we go, and the plastic cap is off. I've seen other videos on YouTube where people get into collisions and uh, these things pop off. Looks like they just snap on, they pop off pretty easily, it's just a diffuser for the LED. Now I see two additional screws. And it looks like this ring pops off. So when I do my epoxy work, I'm not gonna want this ring on there because I don't want to epoxy that to the drone. Now it looks like we have the controller board which has LEDs on it, some surface mount LEDs most likely. Right there, that's the LEDs. It looks like there's three wires coming in, positive, negative, and data. Then there's a C, B, and A wire coming out of it. We reach under there and pop that out. Now we got two, three more screws look like they're actually connected to the motor. We come back to this Torx and we undo these three. It looks like there is Loctite on these. It looks like blue Loctite. The uh, Loctite is probably there to keep the motor from coming out from vibrations. There we go, we have three screws and now the motor is free. If you were to replace this motor, I would assume you'd have to solder it right there at this A, B, and C solder joints. But that's pretty much it, that's how it comes apart. I'm gonna be attempting now to epoxy this piece of plastic here. Okay, so here you can see that we have epoxied the arm and that is the repair job. Want to find out if this repair was successful and if this drone can actually fly after this operation? Check back soon in an upcoming video.